today I'm here and I'm talking about my favorite cosmetics companies and most of the cosmetics companies with the exception of one today are smaller lesser known companies so I'm not going to do the big brand names that you guys all know and love because I want to show you some different things to you guys. One thing I have to say a little disclaimer I apologize for the noise in the background it is 110 degrees I'm not even exaggerating it is literally 110 degrees in LA today and so I cannot film without having my air conditioning on or I might die and you guys don't want me to die so that's why the noise is happening in the background but anyways let's get started with some of these companies ah, I'm losing all the things off my lap um, the first company that I have for you guys is called Sugar Pill I know you guys are probably familiar with Sugar Pill if you watch my videos but I want to show you some of their things because Sugar Pill is seriously one of my favorite brands if you guys have ever taken my class you know that I speak very highly of them they make all kinds of different palettes this is their Edward Scissorhands palette that has these beautiful colors. It is vegan, it is cruelty free. They make really, really, really brightly pigmented eyeshadows. So if you guys are trying to do any crazy, cool, fun, bright, colorful looks, Sugar Pill is awesome. They're really pigmented. They also make fake eyelashes. They also make loose eyeshadows that generally are pretty um, sort of shimmery and metallic, which is cool. They also make neons. They also now make lip products. They make lipsticks, which come in these really super cute pill shaped containers and then they also do liquid lipstick which is super awesome so they kind of do a little bit of everything now the only thing they're not doing is base products so concealer powder foundation that kind of thing but anything that has really bright colors in it they do and it's amazing so this next brand that I have is actually a UK brand. This is the place that I actually taught my classes at when I was in Birmingham and Leeds. This is Le Cue. Yay! So they make a whole line of actual pinup inspired stuff. So this is their pinup powder. And this is their makeup remover and cleanser. And it's got a moisturizer in it as well. So they are doing cosmetics and they are also doing skincare, which is amazing. And I'm opening this up so I can show you guys the packaging because half of what I love about them is their packaging. Not that the product isn't good, the product is good too, but these are really, really beautiful packages to have on your little table. It comes with a little fluff with little bows on it, which is really, really cute, and I am a sucker for good packaging. Speaking of good packaging, let's talk Besame. So if you guys haven't heard of Besame, this is their lipstick tube, and this is their powder. These are well used, so they're not as shiny and brand new as they would be if I had have just gotten them. Um, and then this is actually their rouge. Oh, it's so beautiful. So this is actually a tin and it's got a sort of a metallic sheen to it. And this is just a cream rouge. So the thing I like about Bessonet, not only is their packaging beautiful, but it's very throwback vintage. So their stuff actually looks vintage and they make makeup the way that they made it back then. So they do the cake mascara that you can also use as eyeliner. They do the cream rouge. They do the little lipstick tube. So Besame is really good, super pigmented, really, really good quality products. Their lipsticks are amazing and beautiful and really pigmented and lovely. And they are a good brand. This next brand is a more well-known brand. This is Kat Von D. If you've seen Kat Von D before, you've probably seen it at Sephora. She has this whole shade and light series, which is just groups of products sort of grouped together to give you a contour. So this is an eyeshadow palette so that it can help you to contour your eyeshadow. She also does actual contour palettes. This is the shade and light powder palette. So it gives you everything you need to contour that way. I also have the shade and light cream contour palette, which I just got, so I haven't actually opened it up yet, but it's the same idea as the powder palette. She also, aside from the shade and light series, does eyeshadows. And these are just an example of some of her eyeshadows. And they are super, super metallic and the pigment is so good. Speaking of pigment, she also does liquid lipsticks and I'm actually wearing one of these today. I think it's the only one that I don't have here. It's one of the reds. That's what I'm wearing on my lips. But these are really, really pigmented and I like that they don't get super cakey, which is my problem sometimes with the most liquid lipsticks. So these are a nice sort of smoother, lighter liquid lipstick. And this whole brand is really pigmented. And it's cruelty free too, yay! I couldn't do a My Favorite Makeup video without talking about Bomber Betty Cosmetics. These are actually from my makeup kit because I use her stuff when I travel. If I've ever done your hair or makeup for a photo shoot, I have used Bomber Betty on you. These are her foundations and I love, love, love her foundations because they are super, super blendable. This is beige and ivory and I've used a combination or one of these two foundations on about 95% of the girls that I have done makeup on when I do my tours. So they're really blendable. They match almost all skin tones unless you have like dark Hispanic or African American or Indian skin. Also her concealer, which is amazing. Her Brow Wow, which is her eyebrow product. It's very similar to Anastasia's 
dip brow pomade. Um, but the thing that I like about the Bomber Betty Brow Wow is that she has a better color range. So if you are a blonde or a redhead, she has a lot more options for you guys. And then last but not least, what would it be without my little wine with Bomber Betty? This is the packaging, and it's actually my little signature and my little kiss print. Yay! And this is Hollywood Harlot, which is my red with Bomber Betty. And I have a whole line of six lipsticks and I think six lip glosses. And she also does custom mixed lipsticks and lip, lip glosses, which are awesome. And her stuff also is cruelty free, mostly vegan and hypoallergenic and parent free and gluten free and all the frees that you could want because it's all really good natural makeup. So it's really good for you girls that have sensitive skin. This next company, sadly, I only have one product from, but I cannot not mention the balm because this is one of my favorite smaller brands. This is Schwing, which is the eyeliner that I use, the liquid eyeliner that I use. This is one of the branding packages. When I buy this stuff, I seriously buy it in bulk. I get it usually off of Zulily. I love the balm in general. They also make tons of palettes and eyeshadows and highlighters and they even do hair products. They do hairsprays and conditioners and shampoos, everything. Another company that is paraben free, cruelty free. There are, again, all of the frees. Really, really cute packaging too. Like I said, I'm a sucker for the packaging, but the balm is a good company. This next company we have is called the Vintage Cosmetic Company. I love this company because their packaging is so stinking cute. So this is their little blending sponge. They also have this little manicure purse, which is just everything you need for a manicure, but it is all floral, which is super cute. Pretty much everything that they make is in that floral. So again, the tweezers, and they just do all of the accessories that you need to put your makeup on. So the eyelash curler, and I think they do fake eyelashes too, yay! This is just a super, super cute company, especially like I was saying before, if you are a sucker for packaging, they have all kinds of different florals and rose golds and super cute things, and it's not expensive, which is really nice. Last but certainly not least, we have VE Cosmetics. I actually have a discount code for this one. 10% off with the code LOVE. I think it's LOVE. It looks like an I. I'm not sure if it's an I or an L. So try L-O-V-E, and if that doesn't work, try I-O-V-E or 1-O-V-E. I don't know, that wasn't very good marketing. But their products are awesome, so who cares? 10% off, yay! So this company is awesome because they do really pigmented eyeshadows. Dun -dun -dun -dun. They also do what is my favorite, which is the Fairy Farts palette, which is this bad boy right here, which is all of the glitters. I love the glitters. And these are really pigmented, super sparkly. Um, you just kind of rub them off and that's how they come off. It's amazing. People ask me if it's a cream. It doesn't necessarily feel creamy to me. I honestly don't even know what it's made of. It's made of fairy parts, let's just say that. But whatever it is made of, it is amazing and really, really sparkly. I can't wait to do some tutorials with these. I've actually been waiting to use this to film this video, so I haven't used it yet. And they also have a contouring palette and they have some mascara and some waterproof mascara. There's some all kinds of stuff. And what is this? Oh, a highlighter, a little highlighter stick. And then a lipstick, it's called Candy Cane. Ooh, look at that. I need to use this immediately. Matte liquid lipstick, yay! So definitely keep your eyes peeled for me to do a tutorial with this palette, this glitter palette. Okay, so that is it. Those are all the cosmetics companies, all of my favorite cosmetics companies. And like I said, these are all smaller, generally more independent companies. Sugar Pill and Kat Von D are bigger companies, but still they're smaller than like Maybelline or Benefit or some of those bigger companies. So hopefully you guys find some things in here that are of use to you. Let me know if you have feedback on any of these companies that I mentioned, or if there's companies I didn't mention here that are awesome companies. And before I go, I just want to give a shout out to Samantha and Mark, who are my patrons on my Patreon page. If you guys do not know what my Patreon page is, check out the link below to see all about it. But these guys are my beach bingo babe and disco diva level patrons, so they get a shout out in my video. Hi guys! I hope you guys like your rewards. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you Next time. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Be sure to check out these other videos that I have posted to see more of my wackiness. And if you want to see even more of my wackiness, be sure to subscribe for all things that are vintage and retro and general silliness.